importance. And I guess before he can work there, he has to take the refresher course at the uh, Fox Valley Technical College. And uh, Appleton. I've mentioned before that one of the best trucking uh, school, certainly the best truck driving school in Wisconsin. is Fox Valley Technical, Fox Valley Tech, located in Appleton, Wisconsin. Now, a long time ago, a friend of mine went to school there, made a comment that they, they were one of the best in the nation. Now, whether that was true or not, I don't know whether they still hold that title to this day not sure I personally did not go there Morning. Ahead. I went to diesel truck driving school in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, right on the Highway 151, about 15 miles north of Madison, Wisconsin. The Wave, there you go. <laughs> YRC Yellow Roadway Corporation, maybe? This camera is running on uh, battery power. So I don't know how long a battery, full battery charge is going to last. Sweet morning. I guess it will die when it runs out of batteries. The only bad thing about that is <laughs> this camera could actually be turned off right now, run out of battery, and here I am, here I am yakking myself to death, and uh, bad, uh, the camera is dead. But I think you guys have been on it for what, 30 minutes or so? would hope the battery would last for two hours, I hope.
I don't know what the grade of this uphill is, but oh, the cruise control just got out at 25 miles an hour. the grade is of this hill but it's slowing me down real bad one of the route alternative uh, alternative route was from Springfield Missouri all the way back up to st. Louis Missouri and then take 55 south towards uh, Memphis, Tennessee. I don't know. Um, it's it's a lot harder to go up back back up to St. Louis. But I think time-wise, it would have been faster. But I thought I'd go this way and enjoy the scenery. I mean, you guys can agree that uh, this video is a little bit better on a two-lane road than a four-lane road, right? Especially like that, where a scene of an incoming traffic passing by. By the way, a friendly, friendly reminder, you guys. I've noticed that uh, even with those good videos that you guys seem to come up with and have a lot of comments on, I never notice any thumbs up on my video. Speed warning. I have not noticed any of my video with the thumbs up on it. And I think I know why. You guys keep forgetting it. Morning. Ahead. So once again, if you give a good comment on the video, hey, Click on that thumbs up. Click it, click it. Ah. Uh -huh. like to uh, I would like to do a little research on you guys give me a comment of how um, give me a comment of how you found my video was it somebody that forwarded it you stumbled into it how did you find my uh, channel I'm curious to guys, I'm curious to know how you guys uh, found it. Uh, so give me a comment for those who are watching this video, okay? I appreciate it.
Okay, welcome to Raven Den. Raven Den, Arkansas. Population 470. Speed limit 45. I still don't have any cellular signal here. So I guess Interstate 55 Speed warning. is 90 miles away from here. Winding road ahead. That's my favorite sign when I'm driving a motorcycle. Winding road ahead. something I'm curious to know. I was uploading a video on my phone and before before I lost the signal it was 50% finish. Then I lost the signal for about two hours now. by the time I get back to when I connect to a cellular signal will it continue or will I have to start over again the video which I am uploading right now is video 159 Springfield Underground Many, many years ago, I saw a TV show featuring a car. Instead of having a, a steering wheel, it had a joystick. And in the video, I guess they were still doing a research If, uh, what would be the advantage to it? 
one of the advantages, I guess, most injuries, especially head-on injuries, head-on head collision injuries, are caused by the steering wheel. So certainly, having a, uh, a joystick would be good, right? The bad thing that I could think about having a joystick is what if you had to itch your left hand <laughs> or you had to itch something using your right hand? would certainly make it very easy to get in and in and out of your truck without having the steering wheel and I suppose during a power power failure you can still navigate using your steering wheel as opposed to a joystick then I guess you're done Casa Lopez, Mexican Grill. Sixty two East. Funky Junkie Yard Sale. Speed limit 55. As soon as I passed that speed limit sign from 45 to 55, that automatically knows it exactly by the feet. The bad thing about it is if you're going through a 45 mile an hour zone, and then you see a sign, I don't know, about a quarter of a mile in front of you. From 45 to 55. Without that, you certainly would speed up, right? As soon as you saw that sign, as soon as you saw that sign that says, uh, from 45 to 55 normally most of us would you know would already speed up before the sign came by but with this if you speed up 
before the sign came by. Speed warning. It will give a report to the safety department that you are speedy. Now, I don't know what law enforcement, I guess Eric can answer this. Eric, when do you, when do you consider a four-wheeler or a motorist? When is it okay to, to do a change of speed from 45 to 55? Is it as soon as we can see the sign or is it from the point of where the speed limit is, uh, speed limit sign is? So if I was to do, if I was to do 55, 50 feet before the sign, could you guys legally give me a speeding ticket? The other question is, there are, there are written laws and then there are what law enforcement practice, what you guys tolerate. What do you personally look for? area huh. very tempting yeah why don't we why don't we Too fast or trying to be good. Trying to be good, a little too fast. What a strange place to park. I will also cut it from here. I'll cut it from here and then uh, charge batteries and turn it on later. Peace.